The two beams then travelled an equal distance, bounced off mirrors and were recombined. The prediction was simple. The light beam, fighting against the ether wind, should be slightly slower than the one travelling across it. When the beams recombined, this tiny difference in speed would create a specific interference pattern. They set up the experiment, held their breath and looked. Nothing. There was no interference pattern, no difference in speed. The experiment was a failure, but a glorious one. It was repeated over and over with more and more precision, but the result was always the same. Null. The conclusion was inescapable. There was no ether. Light didn't need a medium to travel. But more profoundly, the speed of light was constant, no matter how you moved or which direction you measured it in. Newton's absolute space and time were an illusion. Physics was in crisis, its foundations torn down, and it would take a young unknown patent clerk to build something new from the rubble.